Where do we learn this understanding to worship the image of the white man? Where do we learn these understandings at? I want y'all to pay attention over here while y'all wait. Watch this. Watch what the Bible says we learn our understanding from. We have not learned it from God because the prophets right here showing you the Bible. But guess what? We going about doing what we want to do. Read this. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. See, our people always draw near to God with their mouth. Like the sisters that walk past. Yeah, I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. But what commandments are we keeping as a nation of people? Are we keeping the commandments that God gave us? God told us don't buy today. Don't sell today. What are we doing? Buying and selling. God tell our sisters to wear dresses, not pants. What do our sisters do? Wear what they want to wear. Wear pants. Wear revealing clothes. God told us not to do those things. Read. And with their lips do honor me. I love Jesus. I love Jesus Christo. Read. But have removed their heart. Have what? Have removed their heart. Read. For from me. We removed our hearts far from the Most High God of the Bible. How do we know? Because like I just said, when you look down there, you got images of the white man on our walls. This is supposed to be the Hispanic community. What is the images of our oppressor doing in our neighborhoods? That does not make any sense at all. Give me Ezekiel 14, verse 5. What are we supposed to do? What do we need to do as a people? As blacks, as Hispanics, we have to repent and come back to God. Repent and come back to the what God gave us, our nationality. We are the Israelites, when you look on this sign. That's the right. twelve tribes of Israel. Read that. That I may take the houses of Israel in their own hearts. See that, read on. Because they are all estranged from me through their idols. See that? God said the whole northern kingdom went away from God through their idols. That's you Hispanics. That's you Puerto Ricans. That's you Mexicans. You went away from God through your idols. We have to come back to God and repent. Come back and keep his laws. Read on. Watch the verse. next verse. Therefore say unto the house of Israel. So this is what God commanded us to teach you. This is what God commanded us to teach the house of Israel. You Hispanics, watch this. Thus saith the Lord. What? Repent! What? Repent! What? Repent! That means we cannot do Christmas. Next week, Friday, you should not be keeping Christmas. That's right. According to this Bible. Right. God did not give us that. Teach. That's the God of the white man. How are you keeping the same feast days that the oppressor gave us? That's right. Read. And turn yourselves from your idols. You see that? Christmas is an idol. Christmas is an abomination. Worshiping Mary is an abomination. Where in the Bible did Christ worship Mary? Jeez. Or the prophets or the apostles? None of them did those things. We have to not do what we learn from this white man. We have to do what the Bible tells us to do. Do y'all understand that? Bring it up. We have to do that. Y'all keep it Christmas next week? Okay, let's, I'm going to show you some of the Bible. Watch this. Check this out. Give me Jeremiah 10. Watch what the Bible, do y'all understand what the Bible say about Christmas? Do you understand what the Bible say about Christmas, sister? I'm going to read it for you. Watch this. Jeremiah 10, verse 1. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 1. Let's you know? see if God told us to follow Christmas, right? You believe in God, right? Watch this. Read. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. O house of Israel. So God said, hear the word that God is speaking to the blacks and Hispanics. All through this neighborhood, God is speaking to y'all. God said, hear what he about to say. Read. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So see that? God said Christmas is the way of the heathen. Listen to me, sister. Listen to what the Bible is saying. God said, learn not the way of the heathen. Now he's about to go and explain it, what that is. Read. Don't go nowhere. Listen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read. For the heathens are dismayed at them. The heathen are worried about the sun god, the moon god, the stars. We're not supposed to be worshiping any of those things. Right. This is the worship of the sun god. 
Right. Like Jesus. Worshiping on Sunday. That's the worship of the sun god. Read. For the custom of the people are vain. Listen to this, sisters. God said the custom that we're about to bring out is vain, meaning lies. This is not the custom of the Bible. Jesus. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. So wait a minute. He said one. He go and cut a tree out the forest. Hmm. Let's read on. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So this man goes to the forest, right? Cut the tree down and then do what? Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. Then they take that same tree, take it to their house, take it outside their house, deck it, with, put silver and gold on it. That's the Christmas song, silver and gold. Right here in the Bible, God's documented that that's a vain religion, vain custom. We're not supposed to keep that. Read. They fasten it, it with nails and with hammers that it move not. You see that? That's the post at the bottom of the so-called Christmas tree. That the post is stand and make it stand up straight. God said that's a false idol. That's why Northern King, that's why the Hispanics was, went to slavery because we keep following idols. Where in the Bible did Christ keep Christmas? Read you read about Christ keeping Christmas? You ever read a scripture that said Jesus Christ kept Christmas? So why do we do it? Aren't we supposed to be followers of Jesus? Do what Christ did? Christ did not keep this. Read on. Right here, this is way before Christ was even born. They was doing this feast, this uh, uh, idol. I That's right. Day. So this has nothing to do with Jesus. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. So, right, every Christmas tree you see, isn't it decked out with silver and gold? Every, every Christmas tree you see, right? It got ornaments on it. It got decorations on it. This is God describing a vain idol that our people do that he's angry about. Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers uh -huh. that it move not. Read. They are upright as the palm tree. Because back in the day, back during the time of Babylon, it used to be a palm tree. Now it's an evergreen tree. All the trees you see, they probably even got some in these stores of Christmas trees with gifts under the bottom of them. God said all that is evil. All that is wicked. All that is sin, according to God. That's right. If you love God, if any of you love God out here, tomorrow, Friday, you will not be keeping Christmas. Bring it if out. If you hate God, next week, you'll be right keeping Christmas. God gave us many feast days in the Bible. Today is a feast day. Today is the Sabbath day. God's day. Bring it out. Read on. But speak not. Uh -huh. They must needs be born. Read. Because they cannot go. Uh -huh. Be not afraid of them. Read. For they cannot do evil, nor also it is in them to do good. So this was an old custom. Back in the day, they used to be scared of the Christmas tree because they thought they was going to die if they didn't keep that holiday or idol day, according to the Bible. That's right. During this day, did you know that our ancestors were getting sold on Christmas? Did you know we used to be the gifts? Did you know that, sister? We used to be the slave gifts. We used to be the presents to our oppressor. We was working in slavery hard hours, Jesus. getting beat, raped, robbed. Now we keep that day today willingly. We keep that day today. It's fun to us. It's beautiful. Give me Revelations 11 and 10. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to prove that. In the Bible, we're not supposed to be doing these days. These are not the days we're supposed to keep. Read that. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 11 and verse 10. Uh-huh. And they that dwelt upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And make what? And make merry. So that's right here. Over there. Bring her. Watch this. Sister, I want to show you something. Watch this. I'm going to show you what he was trying to show you with these signs, right? You see these signs right here? You see these images? This is what we was taught in slavery right here, right? In, in, in the Bible, we was taught the truth. Listen, sis. Don't go nowhere. Listen. This is what we was taught in slavery. This is our history. Don't you want to know about yourself? 
Don't you want to get educated about who you are, where you come from? That's right. Right here in the Bible, God is showing us that we was going to lose our history if we disobeyed him. Read that. Watch this. I'm going to show you on that flyer right there. That's our history. Watch this. This is more important than that. This is way more important than anything you're about to do. This is your history. This was taken from you, 1492. Stolen from you. Beat from you. Therefore, we don't even have the same names anymore. We don't even know who we are. Where you come from? What's your homeland? You don't have it because it was stolen. But you got to be able to listen to this to get it back. Okay, watch this. Read. This is the book of don't go Revelation to... chapter 11 and verse 10. Read. Watch this. And they that dwelt upon the earth uh -huh. shall rejoice over them. So look, they rejoiced over us. I want you, look, you see these signs right here? They rejoice over us. On that flyer, it should be on there as well. Of us getting beat. Of us getting raped. Of us getting robbed. Of this land getting stole by Christopher Columbus. And the rest of the conquistadors. Read. And make Mary. And make what? And make Mary. And make what? And make Mary. It's a Merry Christmas. They was happy that they stole us and put us in slavery, sis. You got to listen to that. Watch this, young man. Watch this. Read. And shall send gifts. One to another. And what did they do with us on Christmas Day? And send gifts. One to another. Christmas. Are we supposed to be keeping that? No. We're not supposed to do Christmas. You hear me? According to God, God don't want us to do that. Christmas is of the devil. That's right. Christmas is evil. Teach. Christmas is demonic, satanic. Teach. You understand? Watch this. I'm going to read it again for you. Read. And they check, come check this that out. dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Uh huh. I want and, you to listen to this. What's your and name, by make way? merry. Come close. I can't hear you. South. South? Yeah, South. South, my name's Zebediah, alright? All right, so read this. What we're doing is going over the history of the blacks and Hispanics. We're showing our people that we are the Israelites in the Bible. That's right. That's our history. That's our culture. That's who we are. Read that. And they that dwell upon the earth. So rejoice over them uh -huh. and make merry Read. and shall send gifts one to another. So this is what we bring it out. Our people were so during Christmas time. During this time that's coming up next week, your forefathers and my forefathers, blacks and Hispanics, was Christmas gifts to the other nations. The conquistador, the white man, the English man, the Portuguese was putting us in slavery and selling us that's on right. Christmas. That's why we come out here and show our people that Christmas is of the devil. Christmas is evil. God never gave us that. We the Israelites, according That's to the Bible. Right. That's right. That's our culture. That's our heritage. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.